All right, we're out in our new, we'll show a better video photo of it when we get back for lunch, but in our new John boat. Sun and, Dolphin, American 12. And uh, got everything in. We just talked to Todd and uh, we're back at his pond. You've seen the two or three videos I've had here. We absolutely slay crappie here and usually catch a couple really good bass. So we're, I think we're the first people out here this year really to fish and he wants these crappie out of here. So. We might have to do a little small side crappie keeping. There you go. But, you know, he wants them out, and we want some fish because Mama wants fish. So we're pretty pumped, and we're going to get going here. We're going to get the first fish catch on the – I got the GoPro right here. We're going to see how this works. It seems like it will work well. But I got both GoPros. We'll keep running them out, and we're going to see if we can load the boat up. So stay tuned. We'll catch you in a sec. First one. Cool. Feel like a good one too. Yep. Eh, might not be that good. That's a crappie though. Alright. Nice job, buddy. There it is folks. 23 minutes in. First crappie. Good. Well with the wind it blows. There it is. Ooh, could be a keeper. Oh, it's a keeper. It's a keeper. Oh! Nope. It's a There she is. There we are, folks. A little pink rubber What do you think? That's not a Let's show it to the camera. That there we go. Why, that explains why we're not yeah. All right, folks. So, it's pretty slow, but we got some fish now. Um, I don't know if it's the water's cold or not, but we're having kind of trouble getting them getting them hooked. Um, and we haven't caught any big ones yet, but the prop. But Todd wants us to get some small ones out here. It seems like they could be stunted with some smaller ones. Oh, Dad's got one on. Idea of the size, at least this is the problem. I think is they just bring it on this side. Yeah, just so, so small. They're not. Ooh, oh, this is another good, good, good bluegill. Bluegill. Get him in the boat. Don't lose that one. Throw him in the boat. Get him in the boat. Nice, nice red ear. So, there's one to go. The stringer, we got three now. Um, we're just gonna keep working. They got a new trees. These are where some trees are down that we're gonna throw, but we're basically throwing these little crappie jigs with a bobber. Um, I'll show you what mine looks like. Oops, maybe. Whoa. Oh, don't move. Okay. I'll show you what mine looks like. Sorry. So we're just throwing these little white eighth ounce jigs with these little crappie baits on them. And uh, just kind of either jerking them a little bit or ra I've been really, how I've cut my three, I've been slow here. Very good. I've been, uh, I've been just slowly reeling mine in and jerking it a little bit, and then Dad's kind of been just letting it sit, jerk, sit, jerk, and then I usually just hit it, and it kind of looks like a wounded minnow, but that's how we're trying to catch these, and uh, we'll keep you updated, and eventually we're going to throw some bass lures and hopefully stick a pretty good-sized bass, but we'll keep you updated. Nice one, Dad. It's a keeper panfish. There you go. There's bluegill. Nice one. He went right down. There's a keeper bluegill. Yeah. Oh, that's the biggest crappie we have. Got him. Nice one, Dad. That's actually a decent. That's a keeper. Oh wow, he just came off here. That's, that's a real keeper. First keeper, people. Real keep, true keeper. I'll be back in a second. There he is. Oh. 
Oh, Jed, get the net, get the net, get the net, get the net. Get the net. Big one. It's, it's, it's a big crappie. It's right to right behind. It's right behind you. Oh, it's a huge crappie. Huge crappie. Huge. Get the net. Get the net. Get the net. Get him. It's a sliver. It's a sliver. It's a sliver. Sliver. Get him. No, don't move. Get him. Yeah. Don't move him. Keep moving him. <laughs> I'm trying to get him, and you're moving him. Slaver. Look, he swallowed that thing. Slab. Beautiful. Beautiful. Dude, they're right there, Dad. It might be the spokes. Hell yeah. Look at that big slabber. Nice one. So we just found this little hole here. There's we always knew this tree was down here. And um so we just anchored up with our two anchors and uh my hat's all crooked and cut. There we go. Um and right here twelve feet off I've been hit and whacked and finally just stuck a good one. So feeling pretty good. We're gonna hang here, switch out the GoPros and see if we can catch a couple more slabs. Alright guys, midday update. We just got done with lunch. Show you. Look at our little, little nice little sticker going there. Got the slabber. Some nice red ear. So we got I don't know, ten there. And then we got get a mess of them right here. More. Dad's just slaying the red ear, and we got some crappie. So we're looking good there. There's our boat. Better look at the boat. And we're gonna go back out. We're gonna hit this bank. We didn't really hit it. And then we're gonna hit this corner again. And then we're also gonna throw some more bass stuff to see if we can stick a couple good bass. So we'll see if we can get lucky. But two nice ones, decent bass, nothing big yet. But but we'll see. We haven't really been bass fishing, so hopefully we get one. That's all. Look at him. Oh god, he got his whole thing in there. Better? Mm. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh no, it's not that big. It's not that big. He's a keeper though. No, oh, he's a keeper. Nice. That's actually decent. Thought he was a little bit bigger. Another one. Show me the camera. Show me the camera. Look at that little that monster. Jeez. Monster. Frame. Ooh, decent one. No, oh, yeah. There you go. Ooh, that's a decent one. Oh, here we go. Oh, <laughs> oh he's really yanking, dude. It's a good one. It's a good one. Hold on. It's not 18 mile no. Oh, it's a nice one. It's a decent one. Get the net. Little. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Double him up. Nice one, Dad. Good job catching the little bit. Getting that in the fish. Show him the camera. There we are. There we go. Nice. Wow, that guy fought like a tank for what? He's not that big. Nice. He's a good fish. Yeah. Man, they're healthy. Really healthy guys. All right, guys. So we just wrapped up our fishing. Didn't have any big bass, but we got our two stringers here. We're gonna show you all. And we did pretty good. Look at that stringers. Look at that slabber right there. It's a nice one. Hey. Some nice red ears. We got some uh, some good eats there, Curtis. Yep, we're gonna do a nice little kitchen cook for y'all with some cool recipes. 
Uh, some of them are a little smaller, but uh, light water of the pond needs some milk cold out, so we came and did our business. So boat performed well. Yep. So maiden voyage. So looks good. Everything did great. Okay. Caught a bunch of crappie. Probably caught I don't know 40 or 50 crappie. Real hunters, uh, baby. Another good fishing trip. So okay, man. We'll catch you in the kitchen when we start cooking them up. Sounds good. Alright guys, so we're back. This is two days after we caught our fish. So as you can tell, they're all filleted and nicely done. Today we are going to make, uh, I don't know what you want to call the first one, but we're making our homemade garlic aioli sauce. And I saw this on Meat Eater. We're going to slice the fish down the middle here and just, just enough to get into this into the filet and put them in tin foil and then put the aioli on top of them and then bake them in the oven at 375 degrees for five minutes. We're, we're just testing it. We already don't know how, how long we're gonna cook them for, but we're gonna test that out. And then we're gonna make this garlic butter fish recipe. And we got cornstarch, salt, pepper, and we're gonna put all the other filets in here, get them all uh, in the cornstarch, and then we'll take them to the pan and pan sear them. And then we're gonna make a garlic butter sauce to go with those. So these are gonna be our two new recipes we're gonna try with them. Okay guys, so we made a garlic um, butter and parsley little sauce, just melted butter and garlic. And then we're gonna put this over our fish now that they're all cooked in the cornstarch. So we'll just do this. All right, so we just pulled our garlic aioli fish out and they look pretty good. So we're gonna let them cool down. And we got our cornstarch shrimp, shrimp, fish, whoops. Cornstarch fish with garlic butter there and our pasta. So we'll get back to you when we taste it. All right, let me get in there and try them. Mm. Mm. Try the aioli. Oh, I like the cornstarch on that. Mm. Wow, that's really uh, tender. I think a little made a little bit more buttery. Mm. Mm. Yeah. All right, there's the aioli. Let me get the cornstarch. Oh, that is good. Oops. Whoops. Whoops. Come on, girls. Eh. Mm. Mm. Yep. Nope. There you go, folks. Pretty good. There's a way to cook your fish, your pan fish. <laughs>